Wow, Cleveland Cavs. Um, lately, you know, before the season started, I had a lot of, uh, well, last year I really was, I didn't know what, what we was going to get with this Darius Garland, um, this Darius Garland guy. Uh, he turned out to do some things last year, but, you know, the same thing that happened at the end of the year last year during the play-in, <clears throat> and once Jared Allen got hurt, uh, teams started to really figure his game out. Um, I know he's young in a game, but I mean, you don't get paid all that money to have excuses. Um, and, and you're the point guard of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Your numbers um, could be way better. You, <clears throat> you have so much skill. I think it holds you back. You don't know what to do with it. You know, a lot of people ain't gonna like what I'm about to say, but I don't really care. You know, I I, I don't care because again, I know the game. I play the game, and I'll, I'm 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 Cleveland through and through. I'm born and raised here, man. I under I understand what it takes to be a champion. To be a champion, it's a mentality. It's a championship mentality. LeBron. Brought us a championship in 2016, but it wasn't because it, you could always put the ball in the basket. It's about making your teammates better. Darius Garland, as the point guard getting paid all that money, you're supposed to make your team better. And I'm looking at this last game against Sacramento, and I watched the games against... Uh, what was it? Toronto, the two games against Toronto, physical teams. You're played against Mike Brown and Della Dova. Delhi started locking you down, man. He started playing that, that, that defense he put on Steph Curry to shut Steph Curry down in the championship. Mike Brown is a defensive specialist coach, but the Sacramento Kings are number one in points scored, not defense. The Cavs are number one in defense. However, Darius Garland, when defenses apply pressure on you and get physical with you, you just, it's like you mentally get taken out of your game. And a coach and players that really got that dog in them, I mean, Darius Garland, I don't think you got a dog chain yet this year, man. You ain't got the junkyard dog chain yet this year. I don't think you did, man. And like I say, I ain't sitting no shots, man, because I be putting on for my city. But I'm starting to think that your game is flawed when it comes to people playing defense on you. You don't know what to do. Uh, again, you're the point guard. You're not supposed to be dribbling and dribbling and dribbling and dribbling. Pass the ball. Point guard. You're not supposed to always have 15 to 20 shots. You're the point guard. Not the shooting guard. You have two seven-footers. I look at Jared Allen. He said, get 10 shots a game. He's, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I don't know if JB tell you go out there and dribble the fucking the, the air out the ball. Man, but it's, it's just like this is what you continue to do when that shit don't put points on the scoreboard. Pass the ball. Why can't you average 10 assists a game? If you do, do all that shit with the goddamn ball, you should be able to trick and finesse motherfuckers and be dishing and dodging the motherfuckers and dropping motherfucking dimes off. Then making it where the floor spacing is the priority. Not you just trying to dip and dance and try to look cute and missing shots. Turning the ball over, over and over and over. You dribble too much. Pass. The ball. You're a point guard. Won't you try to get 15 cents a game? Why don't you play fucking defense like they play defense on you? I tell y'all all the time, go work out, man. Y'all trying to be too fucking cute with this hair all in your fucking face shit. This shit's starting to get on my nerves because you're getting paid too much money to be trying to be so fucking cute. 
You got too much talent to be wasting it with this goddamn dribble, dribble, dribble shit. Pass the ball. Stop shooting the ball 15 to 20 times, man. Stop crying because you want to get a foul call. They keep punching you in the face because you know you ain't going to do shit about it.